Hollywood, December 2nd. In addition to supplying entertainment, television has contributed much to the advancement of science. For example, the medical profession has used the medium to instruct young surgeons by television operations. The next logical step would be for these operations to go commercial and to become regularly sponsored on television shows. If that happens, here's what you might tune in on, on television shows. And a good, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we greet you from the green room of the General Hospital. Tonight, as we have done for the past 15 weeks, we are going to perform a major operation right in your own home. Yes, welcome to the program, Inside USA. And now, let's meet the star of our show, that medical marvel direct from two smash weeks at Bellevue, the one and only Dr. Robert Hope. Thank you very much. In just a moment or so, we're gonna start our operation, and I hope tonight's surgery will be just as much fun for you as I know it'll be for me. You've all met our announcer, Mr. Frank Phelan. How are you, Frank? Just fine, doctor. And how are you this evening? Me? I'm fine. Yes, I'm just fine. <laughs> Would you mind giving us a rundown on tonight's surgery? Well, tonight I'm performing a very unusual operation. I'm taking out a man's appendix. Now, why is that unusual? He only has measles. <laughs> well, doctor, don't you think it's about time we get started? Yes, I think so. I've done a lot of operations in my time. You know? Oh, yes, over yes. 5,000. Yes, and if it keeps up, I'll have to get a license. Yes, I think we ought to. Uh, <laughs> I, and uh, for the folks who are just tuning in, I would like to introduce my assistants now. They're Miss Hilton, Miss Brown, Miss Undermeyer, and Mrs. and Miss Sapphire, right here. These are my assistants who help me in all my operations. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I told you I was a big operator. <laughs> got yes, I think so. Prepare the patient for surgery, please. That's yes, up. Now, Doctor, do you mind telling the folks exactly what you do before each and every operation? Well, I do what every doctor does. I smoke a carton of Maharaja cigarette. <laughs> the cooler, happier, milder cigarette. Shall we try a simple experiment? Yes. An ordinary cigarette. All right. Light it, I hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Inhale deeply. <laughs> <laughs> Very bitter and irritating to the throat. Aha. And now, a Maharaja cigarette. A Maharaja! <laughs> Coming in Lockheed, runway five. Here we come, everybody. Oh, my appendix. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sounds like a sore loser. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Oh. Go to my office oh. and rest. Oh. <laughs> He's got his long underwear on. <laughs> Okay, everything will be fine. Don't you worry about a thing. Everything will be fine. Well, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Say, so you're new around here, aren't you? Well, yes, I was just transferred from psychiatry. What can I do for you? Look at my personality. <laughs> you're beautiful. What hair, what lips. <laughs> Please, you're melting my thoughts. <laughs> What hair, what lips, what shoulders? What oh. about my appendix? Come on. <laughs> down, Lassie, down. I'm a nurse of your doctor. What is the meaning of this? Socialized medicine. <laughs> Tell me that you'll never leave me. Tell me that nothing will ever come between us. What about my appendix? Yeah, what about that dirty old thing? Stay down there. You? <laughs> now relax, my good man, and we'll operate. Tell me, have you ever been operated on before? Yes, my tonsils, my adenoids, my liver, and my kidney. Oh, four operations, you haven't been cured? No, but you ought to see my scrapbook. Stuck in front of you and the doctor, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, stethoscope. <laughs> all right, everything will be fine. He's a happy loser now. All right. Here we go. How am I doing, Doc? I think you got here a little late, son. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That's right. Yes, sir. Pick and Pat's coming in fine. Yes, sir. Uh, well, there must be some action here somewhere. Oh, you're a dancer, aren't you? Yes, you are. Here, I'll just, I'll just connect the stethoscope to the loudspeaker so you can hear your heartbeat. There you are. suffering from a very bad case of ventricalis and larger mitis, or he's either that or he's swallowed Liggett and Myers. <laughs> what are you going to do, Dr. Operate? No, we'll turn him over and play the other side. Come on, all right. <laughs> prepare, for <surgery. laughs> prepare, prepare for surgery. Prepare for surgery. You're laughing. All right, there you are. Towel nurse. <laughs> for one measly towel. Take it away. Well, doctor. No, 
No, thanks. Too warm for gloves. Come on, Doc. In a minute, I may not need you. Let's start cutting, huh? Yeah, we'll do everything fine. We'll, we'll... Down, you're sick. Down, down. Uh, it sends me. <laughs> that Blue Cross plan gives you everything. <laughs> Now, if you'll just relax, we'll get to that naughty little appendix faster than you can say utter McKinley. Now. <laughs> now, tell me, are you ready, nurse? Yes, doctor. You're ready? Thank yes. you. Thank you very much. Please, remember that first I'm a nurse and second I'm a woman. Well, let's get out of first and shift into second, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scalpel. Scalpel? Scalpel? Well, it looks like a dull evening. Yes, it does. <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. I think that for two dollars more, I could have got a veterinary. <laughs> Come out into my hearse. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we'll just cut right in here. I, oh, before I cut in, I just want to say that I've had many requests from my televiewers asking my surgical technique, so I've written a book answering all their questions. And if you'll just send your name and address and a dollar in, I'll send you my book entitled How to Perform Major Operations at Home on the Kitchen Table or There'll Be One Less for Dinner Tonight, Mabel. <laughs> all right. Scalpel. Oh, you have your own. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> my spalling, isn't that fun? Hey, Doc. Yeah. Couldn't we... Use a little ether. Ether? Yeah. Well, we weren't going to rough it, but if you're, uh, if you're a chicken, we'll have to give you a dash of ether. Just put this cone on your nose. There you are. Yeah, but Doc, I don't want that cone. I want one like you got on your nose. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I may have to use something rusty on this boy. There you are. All right, nurse. Yes. Scalpel. Scalpel. Yep. Yeah. Is that it too? Yeah. Oh, I, I should have gone another year. All right. <laughs> yeah, sponge. Sponge. Faucets. Faucets. Yes. Clamp. Hydrovascular cardiograph. Electro turbo injector impulse. Clamp. <laughs> Coward suture. Sponge. Sponge. Needle. Needle. I'm sorry, Doctor, but we don't have a needle. No needle? No. Sinatra. <laughs> there. I will not, I will not make the incision. Whoops, I'm sorry. Took a divot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty center cut? Isn't that nice? Nice, yes, I will now lay back the subcutaneous layer. There you are. Open a little wider, please. <laughs> Now cut the diaphragmatic tendon leading to the pancreas, which, um, oh, just a second. Oh, there's something odd What's about this. Matter? This is very, I may have to call in another doctor. Just a second. Don't go away. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is serious, nurse. Well, what is it, doctor? My goodness. This man has a double endocardium A. Well, that's too hard. Three clubs. Four spades. I'll be <laughs> Serious, there's an obstruction here. Well, what is it, Doctor? Oh, it looks like money. money. It's nothing but money. Look at this. Oh, Hundred dollar bills. Oh, Look at doctor, this. How could he be so full of money? Well, it's an old Crosby custom. They know they can't take it with them, but they always try. <laughs> Doctor's 